So I'm here on the 10th of February. It's 3.41 p.m. And, um, well, basically, I had a date yesterday and I got dumped. I feel pretty grand right now, and um, also yesterday I found out that my grandfather died, and you know it, it, it's even more pathetic that my mom and dad want to take me out to a movie tonight. And don't get me wrong, you know I would love, I, I want to get out of this house and have a good time. But at the same time, I'll be thinking about what time I could have had with that person. And, you know, it, it's always, it's always about his pain. It's always about what he's going through. And, you know, every time I say, well, you know, I feel like this, it's, it doesn't matter. You know, it's like, well, you know, my back hurts or... You know, I feel like my soul is burning, and I, well, you know what? I have not once seen a cut on your arm. Do you understand how much that takes away from you? When you rip up razor blades, you, when you rip up your shavers just to get a blade to cut yourself. It's horrible. It's not fun. It's not cool. It's it's shameful. I don't like talking about it, but I, I feel like I need to say something. Maybe he'll watch this and understand that I'm hurting. I've been hurting my whole life. I've been depressed my whole life. I've been hallucinating my whole life. There's nothing that has changed. I've been holding on to God as hard as I can. I try to spread the news about God. And at that time, I just feel so good. But you know what? I've, I've had so many friends. Well, so-called friends. And um, they've just abandoned me. And, you know, I've either... I mean, some of them I've pushed away, and it just doesn't make sense that I have to go through this. I mean, why do good people have to experience pain? Why? I'm asking everyone this. Someone give me an answer. I'm tired of it. I am absolutely tired of this crap. You know, it's just, it, it gets old. It really does get old, and not too recently, I was, I mean, recently I was on a lot of medications, and they were pretty much killing me, and it was good that I finally realized that they weren't good for me. And then I needed to get off of them. And I cut them cold turkey. And now I'm on just two meds. Medications. And, you know, um, I'm doing a lot better on them. But, you know, at the same time, I wish I didn't have to take medication. I wish that, I wish that I was healed. There's so many people in this world who don't have these mental illnesses and they take it for granted and they they act like they're just perfect and like everything about them is just glorious and you know when they come across someone with a mental illness they don't know how to handle it because they haven't been there. They haven't been there and they just push them away. They push them away. They shove them into a dark corner. Why? Why? I'm asking everybody this.
And you know what? There's so many people on here who are like, why you act like everybody's out to insult you and you act like everybody's out to get you and stuff like that. Well, you know what? Maybe if you would shut up, then I would change my mind about that because obviously you are out to get me because you are coming onto my profile antagonizing me and saying all these rude things to me. How am I supposed to act? Am I supposed to be joyous and say, oh my gosh, um, you're just so right. And, um, no, I'm sorry, but it, it doesn't work that way. I, I did nothing to disrespect you. I only spoke my mind and you pretty much slashed me in the back and you think it's okay. It's not okay. And you know what, whether, whether he thinks it or not, sin is all the same in God's eyes. He needs to read the Bible a little bit more. Because, you know what, I know more, I, I, I know better than that. There, there's an, there, there, yes, there are unforgivable sins. And one of them is suicide. Because if you kill yourself, bang, in the head, how are you supposed to be like, oh God, forgive me. How are you, you going to do that if you, your life is gone right at that second? That's an unforgivable sin. Even if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and you have lived a good life and you have done good things in your life, you know, and it doesn't matter. What you did was wrong. You killed yourself. Thou shalt not kill. It's one of the Ten Commandments. But anyways, um, I just want people to know that the crap you're doing is wrong. And Philip, you know what? You need to learn a lot of lessons. You're never going to get any chick, woman, or whatever if you keep treating people like this. The reason why you get along with men is probably because you're fucking gay. And I, I have no... Okay, I really don't have a problem with gay people. Okay, that's their choice. And you know what? If, if that floats for them, that's good. Whatever. But you know what? You, you need to get a grip on life. And you need to read the Bible a little bit more. Because you know what? I'm sorry, but you have, you have wronged me too many times. But I still forgive you. Is that that's just so sad that I could stand here and say I'm sorry I forgive you, and not once have you ever said that you're sorry to me. Those words have never ever come out of your mouth, and I'm freaking tired of it. If you can't say you're sorry, then this friendship is over. And people, if you have a wrong, if if you have a bad comment to say to me. It'll be deleted. It'll be deleted. It'll be ignored. It'll, something will happen to it, and I won't see it because I don't need to. So, there you go. Bye.